Hi, this is Stan Lyle with Master Math. During the lesson, you're going to come to some You Try It slides where you're asked to do problems that relate to the lesson. Hit your pause button, try the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. If two objects are proportional, that means that they've changed size one from the other, but they've changed sizes evenly. They've grown or they've shrunk proportionately or evenly. Let's try to examine that idea visually. I've got three pictures of flowers here, and picture number one is the original picture. And in picture number two, I've increased the size of the, uh, the first flower, but I've increased the height and I've increased the width the same amount. So the flower looks the same. It's not distorted. It's in flower number three, though, I increased the size of the width, but I didn't increase the height. So I stretched it. I've increased the size, but not proportionally and not evenly. So number three is not proportional to number one or number two. In math, a proportion is an equation stating that two ratios are equivalent. One half equals two over four. We know that's true. But we can also see that they grew proportionately. The, the numerator grew proportionately from fraction one to fraction two, and the denominator grew proportionately from fraction one to fraction two. If I double the numerator in the first fraction, I get 2. If I double the denominator in the first fraction, I get 4. So they've grown proportionately. Now we know that 1 over 2 does not equal 2 over 5, and we can also see that the numerator doubles from fraction 1 to fraction 2, but if we try to double the, the denominator on the first fraction, we get 4, and that's not equal to the denominator on the second fraction, so they're not proportional. We can also see in this first fraction, which is proportional, that if we were to reduce or simplify the 2 over 4 to its lowest form, we'd get 1 over 2, which is the first fraction. So if two fractions are proportional, you can reduce one fraction to its simplest form, and it'll equal the simplest form in the other fraction. Is 1 over 3 proportional to 5 over 15? Well, let's check it out. Let's reduce the fractions to their lowest, uh, simplest form and see if they're equal. 1 over 3, I can't simplify that. That's as low as it'll go. But I can simplify 5 over 15. I can divide both the numerator and the denominator by 5, and I get then 1 over 3. 1 over 3 equals 5 over 15. So those two fractions, 1 over 3 and 5 over 15, are proportional. How about these fractions? Are they proportional? 2 over 6 and 4 over 16. Well, I've got to reduce 2 over 6 to its lowest form. So I divide both the top and the bottom by 2, and 2 over 6 reduces to 1 over 3. Let's do the same with the 4 over 16. I want to reduce it to its uh, simplest form. So I'm going to divide the top by 4, and I get a 1. And I divide the bottom by 4, and I get a 4. So it reduces to 1 over 4. And 1 over 3 doesn't equal 1 over 4. So 2 over 6 is not proportional to 4 over 16. You try this one. Hit your pause button, do the problem, and then hit your forward key to go, go to the answer. Is 3 fifths proportional to 9 over 15? Well, I can't reduce 3 over 5. It's as simplified as I can get. But I can reduce 9 over 15. I can divide the 9 by 3 and get a 3. And I can divide the 15 by 3 and get a 5. So 9 over 15 reduces to 3 over 5, which was the other fraction. So the, the two fractions are even and they, excuse me, they are equal and they are proportional. There's another way to check to see if two fractions are proportional. If two fractions are proportional, 
their cross products are equal. Cross products, what's that all about? Well, I'm going to show you. If I've got two fractions, 1 over 2 and 2 over 4, I can multiply the numerator of the first fraction by the denominator of the second fraction and then I can multiply the denominator of the first fraction by the numerator of the second fraction and that's called cross products and when I get the cross products of this I get 1 times 4 which equals 4 and I get 2 times 2 which equals 4 so 1 over 2 is proportional to 2 over 4 Well, let's try another fraction. I've got 1 over 6, and I know it doesn't equal 2 over 5, but let's test this cross product concept and see if it actually works. Let's multiply the numerator of the first fraction by the denominator of the section, second. 1 times 5 equals 5. And let's multiply the denominator of the first by the numerator of the second. 6 times 2 equals 12. Well, 12 doesn't equal 5, so these two fractions are not proportional. Now you try this one. Hit the pause button, do the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. Use cro cross products to determine if these fractions are proportional. 5 eighths and 15 over 25. Well, the first cross product is 5 times 25, which equals 125. The second cross product is 8 times 15, which equals 120. 120 doesn't equal 125, so these two fractions are not proportional. Don't forget to pause, and then see you see, see the question, and then hit your forward key to move on to the answer. You and your friend both have summer jobs helping your mothers. Your mother has you help her three hours per day and she pays you ten dollars for the day. Your friend works four hours each day and his mom pays him twelve dollars. Are your pay rates proportional? Well, let's figure that out. One way we could figure it out is to reduce the fractions and I've done that on the left in blue. Now I put the units in there because it's real important for you to remember that you've got to be consistent with the units in order for this proportionality thing to work. I've got to put, in this case I put hours over dollars. I could have put dollars over hours. Either would work, but I got to be consistent. So the first fraction is three hours for ten dollars. And the second fraction is four hours for twelve dollars. Now I can't reduce three over ten. That's reduced to its simplest form. But I can reduce four over twelve and it reduces to one over three. And one over three doesn't equal four over excuse me, doesn't equal three over ten. So those two pay rates are not proportional. There's another way I could do it. I could use cross products. And again, it's real important that I am consistent. I've got hours over dollars, hours over dollars, and then I've got hours over dollars again, hours over dollars. And once I get that set up consistently, I can do a cross product. 3 times 12 equals 36. 4 times 10 equals 40. They don't equal, so those pay rates are not proportional. Try this one. Hit your pause key, do the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. Are these two triangles proportional? Here's your hint. If the ratios of the base to the height of the two triangles are proportional, then the triangles are proportional. Well, let's try it that way. The base of the first triangle is 12. And the height 
is 15. So I got 12 over 15. And let's reduce that to its lowest common uh, simplest form. I've got 12 over 15 that can divide both the top and the bottom by 3, and it reduces to 4 over 5. Now let's try the other fraction. I've got 6 over 7.5. 7.5, that's an awkward number. I, that's not an easy fraction to work with, but I, I want to make that a whole number. So if I double 7.5, I've got 15. And if I double 6 to keep the fraction equal, I've got 12. And that's the same fraction I had up above, and I can simplify that to 4 over 5. And 4 over 5 equals 4 over 5. So these two fractions are proportional. They grew evenly. The one side grew doubled in size to get to 15. The base doubled in size to get to 12. So they grew evenly and they're proportional. Proportions. You'll use this concept all your life. So I hope you learned it well. Now it's time to test your skills. Go to www.mastermath.info and download on the worksheet page under 7th grade first quarter the worksheet titled Proportions. Print it, try it, and I hope you do well on it. You can also try the interactive test on the www.mastermath.info page to test your skills on proportions as well. Come back and see us real soon.